How y'all doing? This is Scotty Hill, aka the Catfishing Freak with you. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm gonna hit some hot water tomorrow, so I figured I wanna show y'all some of my setups, what I use, what kind of poles, what kind of reels, things that work for me in fishing. I fish mainly the river, so for current. Uh, I got a couple of them already done. I got one more to do, but these over here, I'm a I'm a saltwater reel man, so I use all pin. This is a new reel that I got, new baitcaster. Uh, it's it's a Warfare. It's a size 20. Uh, got a good drag on it. There's a 80 pound spider wire braid on it. I use slides for my for my weights. These are braid friendly. You can get them on Amazon. They're about 14 bucks. You get a hundred of them. Uh, even in current, you, they'll slide up and down the braid. They don't. Uh, the braid don't cut into the plastic. It's really hard plastic. I got a bead right here for your stop, so it don't mess your knot up, break your line off. You know what I mean? 150 pound swivels. Uh, leader line I use. Where's that? Oh, right over here. Whisker Seeker. The uh, I got 60 pound leader line that I use with my 80 pound test. Um, I like to put these floats on here. I know it ain't nothing fancy. You can get these at Walmart. I just got tape on this one because uh, when you catch fish and stuff like that, it cuts through there. So kind of help it keep it on there. But anyways, float your bait off the bottom. Once this hits the bottom, lets everything settle, you know, reel it in just a little bit and it should float your bait off the bottom a few feet or so. Uh, I use Whisker Seeker triple threat hooks. This is an ADOT. All, I think all of these have ADOT triple threat hooks on them. Yeah. I use 10 ot too as well. Uh, another alternative that I use in catfishing is Bass Pro brand called Cat Max. Yeah, that's some dirty grips right there. I'm cleaning some stuff up, just trying to get organized. This is my favorite time of the year to fish, so I like high water. I like current. Uh, summertime is productive for everybody, but wintertime, I, I don't know, there's just something about it that I really like. There ain't a lot of people out there fishing this. <laughs> Ain't a lot of people that do this or want to endure the code like this. I do it all from a bank. I don't even go in a boat. So, this is what we're doing today. Yeah, and he just got a new reel right here. Oh, that that's another new one. Yeah. I just opened that one up. Got it filled up. Uh, nice. That's a pin squall. It's a size 20. Focus. That's a 80 pound Power Pro on there, uh, Vermilion Red. I don't know. I like that red braid for some reason. Dragon. Um, almost all of these are Power Pro, Pro braid. Couple spider wire, but I've had luck with both of them. I like them both. Another um, pin. There's another with pin. With an ugly stick pin, rod. Pin fierce. Um, Got your old bag to keep your bait in. Yep. This thing here, show, show them this, Julian. Oh, this, this thing, is nice. This thing here, I use it for my. You can do spinning and bait casters on it, but it's a line spooling station. You can get these at Bass Pro. I think they're like thirty bucks. But you put your comes with a little rod. Yeah, you put the rod. What Not you do that. is put the rod up here, and then you put your spool on it. Yep, sets right there like so. Put your spool right there and I'll just go. This thing will lean against the. Here, put it in there. Just keep, just keep the camera on. <coughs> this will lean up against the spool, spool for tension. Uh, your reel will set right in there like so. Here, I got one laying right here. If anybody ain't never seen one of these, this is, I got this from a buddy he found at the yard sale. This is a Ted Williams uh, Sears and Roebuck. That's. Uh, I'm not sure of the year on this. Looks pretty old though. It's, I'd say it's a 70s model, I'm guessing. But anyways, we'll sit in there just like so. And you just reel it in. Actually, it's the other direction because I'm dumb. 
-hmm. And then you'll get your line tied on and there. boom. Just reel it in. Just reel it in. It goes on nice and easy. You can show him, show him on that pole right there, that reel right there, how straight and smooth that is. Yeah, that's what we did. We used that uh, spool with this right here. It goes on perfect. You, you don't have to worry about academy sports or basketball.